Mr. James, I, I want to first express my appreciation to the Army Corps for being a part of the conversation that led to the removal of a sandbar from uh, the Bighorn River. Earlier this year, the sandbar was, had caused ice jams and serious floods in the city of Warland, Wyoming, uh, necessitating the evacuation of 80 of our citizens. Uh, while the sandbar's removal is an important step towards protecting lives and property, uh, I would note, as we talked yesterday, it's only a temporary solution. Eventually, sediment will redeposit, and the area could face the same threat. So. Uh, will you commit to working with Wyoming and, and with me to find a long-term solution to this problem? I will, sir. Thank you. And uh, Mr. James, in the Water Infrastructure Improvements for the Nation Act of 2016, uh, Congress passed a provision uh, that I authored to establish a pilot program that will help develop effective technologies to reduce ice jams. Uh, it's important to communities in Wyoming as ice jams are a primary driver for flooding in areas such as Warland and Grable. I understand the Corps is still working to identify projects for this program. Uh, if confirmed, would you commit to making the implementation of this pilot program a priority? Yes, sir, I will. And, and Mr. James, the EPA is currently in the process of considering a revised definition of waters of the United States. Uh, many in my state have been concerned about expanding federal control over state waters under the previous administration uh, and requiring ranchers and farmers to get costly permits for simply putting a shovel in the ground on their property, their own property. So for example, under the previous administration, a constituent of mine, Mr. Andy Johnson of Fort Bridger, Wyoming, was threatened with a $75,000 fine per day for simply building a stock pond on his property. So if confirmed, will you commit to use common sense and consider the best interest of the people of my state and the entire country when interpreting federal laws? Absolutely, sir. As long as it's the law, I will follow it. Right. 